one of the most anticipated releases of last year is coming this fall. You know the one. <laughs> the Knife River Kenworth T880 transfer dump set for the 2021 National Toy Truck and Construction Show. And I've got one to review a bit later in the video. So smash the like button for this great new model. To learn more about transfer dumps, see my video on dump trucks with the link down below. Hi, I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and let's get going with Knife River and the model review. If you're like me, you have been waiting a long, long time for this release. It's been a rough road with little more than just hurry up and wait to get to the next notice of, it's been delayed again. Frustrating, right? Yep, but I think you will really like the outcome and think that this model was worth the wait. But before we get to the model, see what I did there? Gonna make you wait just a little bit longer. I want to start out with who is on the door. Knife River Corporation was founded in 1917 near the Knife River in North Dakota. Hence the name Knife River. In 1945, Knife River was purchased by Montana Dakota Utilities, which became MDU Resources Group in 1985. Knife River made their first aggregates acquisition in 1992. This was located in California. Growth would follow quickly, as in 1993, Knife River expanded into Alaska. 1995 saw them expand into Hawaii. 1996 brought expansion into Oregon. In 1999, they expanded into Montana and Wyoming. Idaho was next in 2000, followed by Minnesota in 2002, and Texas in 2003. 2005 saw them enter Iowa, Nebraska, and South Dakota. They covered most of the Northwest, and Knife River finished covering all of the Northwest in 2020 with expansion into Washington State. That's great, but what do they do? Knife River is a construction company they build roads and bridges for us to drive on. They also build airport runways. Their work connects you with where you want to go. At this time, Knife River is one of the nation's largest construction materials and contracting businesses with nearly 6,000 employees across the Western US. Construction of our infrastructure begins with rock. Construction aggregates are the foundation of our infrastructure and Knife River. Their aggregate operations provide local sources of high quality materials to support both public and private construction projects. This division brings them a large fleet of diverse trucks to handle the aggregate for asphalt and concrete projects. One of their fleet was the inspiration for the 2021 National Toy Truck and Construction Show model. Also, another one was the inspiration for the Kenworth W900 with Manac bottom dump trailer for the 2008 show. Hit the thumbs up if you have that model. With these aggregates, Knife River produces and lays down asphalt to pave roads, driveways, and parking lots with a smooth, durable surface. Approximately 94% of America's roads are covered by asphalt, so this gives them lots of work. Knife River has 50 asphalt plants across the western United States, including portable plants. These support paving projects on our nation's network of roadways, both close to cities and crossing the vast farm and empty lands connecting those cities. But 
Knife River doesn't just make asphalt. They also lay it down with paving equipment and crews to make high quality driving surfaces. More use of crushed rock at Knife River is concrete. Concrete is the most used building material on the planet due to its incredible versatility, strength, and durable nature. Knife River takes advantage of this by having concrete plants, a large fleet of ready mix trucks, and equipment with crews to perform concrete construction. This includes concrete paving of highways, driveways, sidewalks, and more. For those who need even more, Knife River has a heavy civil construction division. This division handles highway construction, site development, underground utilities, railroad, and marine construction. Services offered are digging, grading, dozing. Basically, moving dirt with their big toys to build highways, subdivisions, and everything in between. Knife River also offers demolition and clearing services. What a cool company! And they realized that none of their services would be possible without the people on the ground and in the offices supporting the workers in the field. President and CEO Dave Barney said, when you make a commitment to putting people first, that of course means every person. This is a great company philosophy as people's success depends on each other, which makes safety and quality top priorities on every task every time. If you're in the Western United States and have a construction project, I would totally suggest giving Knife River a look. Now, let's talk about one of the very few samples in the States right now. And here we go, folks. This is the prototype sample. It is one of the first pre-production samples of the Kenworth T880 quad axle dump truck with Rogue tandem axle transfer dump trailer. Now this is a unique set that's been used mainly out west. It's for Knife River Materials and it was the 2021 National Toy Truck and Construction Show truck model. And we're finally getting the pre-production samples because this is a complicated tooling to make it actually work the way it's supposed to. Now. We'll start off with the trailer because it is different. All right, now these trailers, what they do is they fill the dump and then they hook it up behind the dump truck. And the dump in this trailer is die cast. The quarter fenders and the up front are the fenders and the trailer fenders, they are chrome plated, but they're plastic and the mud flaps are plastic. But you can see they got the Rogue logo on them, on the dolly, the dolly does not unhook from this thing. Out west, they usually don't do that. You turn it around to the back here and you see the bed slides right off because they made these to actually work just like the real ones. And how these work is they will take the transfer bed and they'll just slide it right forward, right into the tr bed on the truck. Really neat system. Then they'll raise it up and dump it. Now the dump bed here, so it doesn't dump this way but it is a die cast piece and this does open up. The tailgate opens just like it's supposed to. On the back, you can see the rogue uh, mud flaps on the trailer. And then you can also see the brake lights and marker lights. They put plenty of them on the back. There's a trailer number right there. And that is really, really sharp. Now the one sad downside is this doesn't really stay put. It wants to slide on its own. They didn't put any locks on it like it should have, but that's all right. This tongue is measured out right, even though I kind of think it's a little long, but that's the way it measured out on the real one. So that's what they've got. And when they unhitch it, it drops down and then the dump truck will just back right over top of it. It'll back right over top of it, just like that. They'll raise this door, which is the tailgate on the bed now this is after they've dumped the first truck, then a chain will just slide this right straight into the bed. It'll drive off 
you'll dump this bed and then, well, it'll lock in place. There's no real lock, but in the real one, it would lock. That would raise up the bed. This tailgate will open and poof, dumped out. And then when they come back, they'll back up to it. Then they'll slide the uh, bed right back out here and pull forward, hitch up and drive off. Really, really neat system. And then you can see it's got DOT striping just like it should have. And now let's look at the new Kenworth T880 dump truck that they've come up with. Isn't this sharp? They got a quad axle with two pusher lifts. And then they've got another version coming later that only has one pusher axle on it. So it's just a try. It has a positionable front steering and they've done a Kenworth T880 before but never as a dump truck that's all new so I suspect they tooled the cab up again based on that setback front axle the T880 individual jewel style headlights on it really sharp chrome front grill with the Kenworth logo tampoed right there and a big nice chrome bumper on the front it's in knife river colors which means it has those orange fenders and the orange stripe underneath at the bottom of the cab doors and then white on the rest. Knife River materials on the door, a truck number up there on the hood, another Kenworth logo behind the air intake, and then a big Knife River materials logo on the bed. Now the tarp, while these are individual pieces that are added on, the tarp does not actually work on this guy. The hydraulic piston raises the door just like it's supposed to, but there it, Oh, the latch mechanism on the dump trailer. Actually, it does work. What do you know? I didn't think it worked, but that would, this will pin down and lock over the pin on the trailer back there. That's what will hold it in so that when you raise up the bed, you can see the piston up front works. I'm not going to push it much harder because this is the sample. I don't want to break it, but it does raise up and with that locked, the dump bed would stay in place. I'll put it back in and show you. See, now it'll stay in place and dump like it's supposed to. The, take it back out, set it right there. The uh, hood does open on this one, but the doors don't. It's got a full detailed interior dashboard with gauges and stuff, steering wheel, gear shift, seats, they're all right in there. They're gray seats, gray dashboard, black steering wheel and gear shift. Under the hood, I would say that's your typical pack car engine because that's what uh, they run in the standard for most trucks. But it's a nice detailed six cylinder diesel engine. It's painted gray with some uh, yellow accents, really sharp. It's got chrome steps, uh, chrome wet tank and nice chrome wheels. It's got a big wide float tire on the front duals on the rear axles and it has singles on the lift axles they don't lift like they did on the old peterbilt but that is just fine in my opinion i don't think we need them to lift the drive shaft is there going to the first axle and then to the second axle differentials there nice detailed work looking suspension on there it's not working but it, it is a nice detail for the air ride you can see how the steering works. It's positionable, not true steering. Got your fuel tank there and your def tank. And then these would be battery boxes and steps. There's also a nice National Toy Truck and Construction Show with the dates of August 6th through 8th, 2021, Indianapolis, Indiana, right there on the bottom of the battery boxes. You can also see the bottom of the engine detail and the transmission detail there. There's marker lights on the side, front mud flaps for the box, which is pretty common nowadays on dump trucks, and marker lights to the back. The Knife River Materials logos are really, really sharp and crisp on this one. And there's also a US DOT number on the bottom of the door, plus the T880 logo. First Gear did a nice job. There's a few things that we kind of probably would have expected that aren't here like the uh, working suspension but personally I'd rather not have it it looks better because it doesn't just droop around as much as the others do 
On the back of the cab, you got the two little brake lights, which are kind of pointless with a dump truck, but they're there. Now, turn around to the back of the truck. There is a truck number mounted on, painted on the back of the bed. As I said, the door does open. Then you can see right here, those are the two rails. Those rails are what the transfer bed slides on. And the two slots below are where the trailer locks in so that it, you can transfer it. Really complicated system to see it. And I don't know. Out West, they run some really cool stuff, but I don't know whether it's practical. <laughs> and here you go, you got mud flaps, DOT stripes, uh, two brake lights and a backup light. There is also over here, a pencil hitch. Now this one actually looks a little more like a pencil hitch. It, it's got a little C hook right there, which I think is a little better than what they've been doing for pencil hitches. It looks nicer, but eh, we'll see how long it lasts because it is made out of plastic. This truck cab chassis is a die cast, but there are some plastic parts like that and this piece for the tarp. It'd be nice if the tarp actually worked like they did before, but that's okay. We'll just go with what we've got. Now I'll pick this up and we can look a little bit at the trailer because I talked mainly about the dump bed. Underneath, you can see the little rollers and the hook back there. It seems like they left out the piece that would lock it back in place on the trailer, so be careful. And as I said, it will just flop off if you pick it up, so be careful. And this thing is actually heavy. You don't want to drop it. On the trailer here, you can see it's got the chain right there so that you can, that would be what it pulls it around that chain. Unfortunately, that chain is not actually, it's just molded into the body, which is expected in this scale. You can see some diamond plating there, and then you can see the fenders. Underneath, a little bit of working suspension on the trailer, but not on the dolly. It's got springs for the dolly and looks like air ride on the uh, tandems then it's got brake canisters they did a nice job and then there's the tongue you can see it has a little lunette ring hole there and that hit just hitches right up behind the truck now these are such neat trucks in real life but we don't see them back here and that's the way it hooks up and we'll put this back here that's how he would tow it and drive it if he was bringing you a load of rock or aggregate or even dirt. He'd have it hooked up that way, a full load in the front and then in the trailer. He would dump, unhitch, dump the truck. Then he would come back and back up to it. He'd have this door open. He'd back right up to the trailer, hook that chain up and that would chain it right straight into the bed. Locker in place. He drive off and then dump the truck, the trailer, poof, and that would be that. Then he'd bring it back and reverse the process. Back up, unlock, send the trailer back out here with the chain, pull out, close the door, hitch up, and drive off. And that is the 2021 National Toy Truck and Construction Show truck. It is the Kenworth T880 with Rogue Transfer Dump System. It has the dump trailer and the dump truck. It's a quad axle truck with two lift axles. A really, really nice 164 scale die cast piece by DCP by First Gear. Another great feature they've put with this is it comes with a certificate of authenticity, which tells exactly how many were made. 1,656 models. And yes, these were sold out. And finally, here it is in the package. Because it was a large run, they were able to get their own custom box made. And that's what it is. It has all the information about it, plus the Toy Truck and Construction Show logo on the front. You can see that certificate of authenticity in the back and we'll turn the packaging up. You can see more really nice special graphics right there. And then on the back, 
we have plenty of information about Knife River Company. How many of you are waiting for this model to add to your collection? Let me know down in the comments. If you haven't got one order, I will have an extremely limited quantity of them when they arrive. They are supposed to be arriving in October to Toy Truckers offices and shipping soon after. Reach out to me on my social media to get one while I still have them. To go along with the model, grab my free report on tips for valuing your collection with the link down below. Also, please drop a tip or sponsor me over on my Patreon page to help support this channel. Thanks for watching. Please go on and smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with some new content and another episode of Toy Talk.